Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can add a chart into a report. So first of all, I'm going to create a blank report or report and design view. I'm not going to add a table to it in properties, which you would normally do. You would normally go across there and drop the arrow down and then pick the actual table or query that you want this report to look at. What I'm going to do is look at this controls area and just to the right of that you've got insert modern chart as opposed to insert a not modern chart. I don't know why it says that. Drop the arrow down. You've got different chart types that you can use. The one I want is going to be a straightforward clustered column, the top one. I'm clicking on that and then what will happen is you will be able to draw a rectangle that will then become the chart area for whatever you now decide to do. So you get like a little preview here. If I just get rid of this property sheet, what you've also got, or what you should have, is this bit over on the right here, chart settings. Now I'm, I want this chart to look at a table. So I've selected table, and then you need to select the table that you want it to look at, which is going to be address details. Now, as soon as you tick address details, you get some sort of preview coming up with all these tick boxes where you can now tick um, depending on how you want your chart to look. So if I tick city for example that's giving me a list of the cities that's in that table. So this is now looking at some of staff ID which would probably work but if I come down this list and for example tick surname it's now going to change that to count of surname the graph itself hasn't actually changed because obviously each surname's got a staff ID. But at the top here, next to data, you've got format. If I click on format, you can change certain things. So at the moment, it's saying count of surname. But for example, if I just say, I just want that to be surname per city, for example, because that's what it is. Surname per city, that's what it's coming up with there. You've got plot series on primary or secondary, I'll leave it on primary. You can change the fill colour. If you don't like blue, you've got other options in here. I'll just pick one just so it changes, so you can see it changing. And there's a border colour. Display data labels, if I tick that, it gives me the count of each surname in there. And then you've got options for trend line and trend line name if you so wish, which I don't. So there's a data tab, there's the format tab for this chart. Now if you quickly look at this, if I go view, report view first of all is just going to give me this chart like it is there. What it isn't giving me is actually the surnames. I know there's five people living there, but who are the five people? So I might just go back and see if I can change that back into design. So if I just tick um, let's tick surname on there, see what happens. So now that's given me the cities across the bottom and now I've got a colour for each of the surnames. I'm not too sure I like the look of that, but that is obviously what you can do. So initially we just had it on, that was on city. And it wasn't on anything actually, it was on none in there. It was just on city at the bottom. Um, count of surname, count. If I click on city there, what does that do? Count of city, same sort of thing really. It's not, this data hasn't got much options in terms of what you can actually do. So count of surname, that'll do. So I'm back to how I was. I think that's the best way. Um, people, six people with the same name live in Bradford, five people with the same name live in Leeds. And that's what this is doing. So let's have a quick look at this. Click on view. That's what that's going to look like. Now let's see if I can get rid of this because that's obviously a duplicate duplicate of the title that I've created. I don't want that there. So I'll go back into design and have a look at getting rid of that. Okay, what you've got to do is basically double click on this chart to get into properties. And then you've got the list of properties there. And it says chart title um, has title. Yes. And if you change that to no, then that will disappear and I'll close that down for a second and then when you go back and have a look it just says what, whatever your title is. Once you've got this looking how you want it, you save it and give it a name, say yes. 
I'll call it RPT charts. So I'll do click OK to that and then it sits down there with the rest of the reports and then when you open it you can see the result of it. So that's all I want to cover in this little video, how you can create a chart as a report and how to edit a chart in Microsoft Access. So hopefully that's been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.